Okay, so this is the lesson on variable types. So what I'm going to show you here is what a variable is and what we mean by the variable type. So you've just got a sample program here where I've set some values to variables and I'm going to explain how those variables change as the code goes through. So a variable, as I have mentioned in the past, is a temporary space in the computer's memory, which is given a label where you can store values in those variables. So if I go through the first bit of code here, you're effectively creating three variables, x equals 30, y equals 25, and z equals the text hello. I've then got another two variables, temp1 equals 2.5 and temp2 equals 3.4. Now imagine a variable is a space in memory which we can assign a value or text to. And you then create a label for that location in memory. So if we have, say, um, a box and we label it X, we put the value 30 in that box. If we have a box called Y, we put the value 25 and Z hello. And the same for the next two. So temp1 is equal to 2.5 and temp2 is equal to 3.4. This code here then takes the contents of those variables and prints it to the screen, outputs it to the screen. So this print X, print Y, print Z would output the values x of x y and z to the screen so 30 25 and hello now once we've got variables in the program we can do various things with them and we can create variables which e equals the contents of other variables with mathematical calculations so for example i create another variable here in memory which i'm going to label total and <clears throat> total equals x plus y so total the new box called total will equal whatever x is in x plus whatever's in y. So in this case, 30 plus 25 will give me 55. Then I create another box called total 2, which is equal to temp 1, which is 2.5 times y, which is 25. So this is all well and good. And, you know, they will work quite happily. The problems arise uh, is when we try to mix variables which perhaps don't go together and this is where we need types or types what programming does is when you assign a value to a variable it allocates a type okay so a type is saying before I put the contents this into this variable what type of data is it well there are several types which are covered and I'll show you here now an integer is a whole number so we say 30 is an integer so the data type of x is 30 the data type of y is again is 25 which is an integer so that's an integer text has a special name we call that a string so that's what we call a data type of string i.e a string is where we have more multiple letters in the same space all right so that, that can be as long as you like. Now this one is a decimal number. Now in Python, we store those, they're called floating point numbers. To make it easier, we'll just say they're decimals. 3.4, again, that's floating type. And then that's just outputting the screen. Now the key thing about data types is sometimes we can't mix data types or Python goes, oh, I can't do that. So for example, if I wanted to say X plus Y plus Z, well, X and Y we can add. We can add 30 to 25. However, you can't add the numbers 30 and 25 to the text. Hello. So you'll notice when I run this program, it's going to give me an error. It says I can't add an integer, I int, and string. I can't do it. How do we get around that? What do we do? Well, we can say we can use the, mat, the command string and int which we'll investigate later on but just for the sake of this exercise so what i want to do is convert to add text to a text i.e the word to hello we'd have to convert the numbers to text so we can go str and that will convert 
the x plus y, the number, to a text and then add the text to hello. Now, there's no reason we'd want to do that, but just to show you how it would work. So now it's added the total and put it to the word hello. And it works the other way around as well. If you try and add x and y as text, it would come out as 30, 25. But if you add them as integers, it comes out as 55. And we'll explore that later. So that's what we mean by a data type, the, the type of data that is being stored in the variable and the programming language assigning a type to that variable.